We're here at the 8th edition of the Investec Cape Town Art Fair. We have 107 participating galleries, uh, around 50% of them are international. We have curated sections, the Tomorrow's Today section, which focuses on emerging artists and is curated by uh, Luigi Fassi and Ikule Mabasso. section, we have the cultural platforms, magazines, editions, um, and of course the main section, walkabouts with curators and collectors, and the talks program. For the first time this year we have Art Doc, which is a film screening program at a local institution, the Labia. What makes the fair unique this year is we have new international galleries uh, from Europe, predominantly um, Belgium and Italy. Uh, we also have two Tunisian galleries participating for the first time, which is really exciting for us as we're, we've really been focusing on trying to include more countries from the north and west of Africa. this series I worked with a bunch of uh, Tunisian activists and the challenge for them and also for me uh, to make them uh, speak or express themselves through uh, um, body language. I didn't want them to show their faces uh, so I asked them to hide the faces with a Tunisian a typical scarf and uh, each one of them has a, has a very strong and interesting story. I was invited to curate a section of the Investe Cape Town Art Fair, which was called Past Modern. And the idea of that is to show the rich history of South African art in uh, context to the contemporary statements that we see for the rest of the fair. Uh, interesting work in 1986, Penny C. Opus, uh, Cake Painting, uh, which is a very beautiful and highly collectible, highly sought after work. And uh, yet Penny's contemporary works, the most recent works, are on the Stevenson booth, five or six booths across the fair. I'm curator for the cultural platform section, which is really a section that tries to highlight non-profit organizations uh, that are both in the country and outside as well as artist collective and I think what's most important for me is that you know these are institutions which are the incubators for many artists you know these are institutions that are also supporting a lot of experimental work and and also supporting a lot of emerging artists We are here at the Investec Cape Town Art Fair under the cultural platforms. What we have been trying to do is to change the face of art in Zimbabwe and the face of the artist at the same time. We promote self-belief in one, uh, the humanistic element that uh, we are there and we are here for each other and that uh, you're not alone in this art world, that it can actually do happen and you can be supported by other artists and not necessarily by just an institution. It's one thing to see the artist, but when you really try to understand the landscape of what is going on in the art world, I think it's, it's the talks program that really offers that to our viewers. And so we discuss topics that range from you know, politics, but also to production. It's also important to hear the artist's voice to hear about some of their challenges and to think about you know, what it means to make art and then to see it in this context. We are here for the fourth time. Uh, this time we're showing artists uh, uh, 
a main and solo booth. In the main booth, we have a Sana Gatesia, whose work has always been very successful at this fair. Sana is a um, He's an older artist from a generation that, uh, of masters, I would say, in Africa. Uh, he works with paper beads, and, um, which come from glossy magazines. After they've been discarded, he rolls uh, these beads and strings them, and then uses them to, to sculpt the tapestries and, or assemblages that we see in this work. I'm uh, Jason Poirier, I'm uh, the director of Plus One Gallery. We're with uh, three Belgian galleries and we each present two of our Antwerp or Belgian artists here at the fair. We thought it was interesting to combine like a stronger effort of collaborating. We chose two Belgian artists, um, Gideon Kiever who made the paintings and Philippe Aguirre who is a sculptor with a very international uh, fame and recognition and activity. We brought uh, an artist called Mar Gelims. This is an artist who had a few shows in New York, had a residence in LA. There is a lot, a lot of response uh, uh, to this artist, so we're very happy to be here. It's here we try to, to bring new, new artists, new dialogues. We always have these curated uh, booths. We like to propose an experience to the visitor. I come here every year for as a source of inspiration and also just to tell the stories of the artists featured in the art fair. Besides the inspiration of the artwork, I get to meet people from around Africa and I have amazing conversations about art, about just life. It's a professional fair. It's like Armory or any other fairs around the world. I feel really welcome and I know everyone here is really welcome, also other galleries. And we come back next year, of course. So I think what's really exciting and what draws me to an art fair, as opposed to maybe going to an exhibition or a museum space, is really that the art fair is current. Like you have a sense of what is really happening in the art market at the moment. You know, galleries put their best foot forward. The artists really present like a snapshot view of what is happening in the South African and the wider African community, which is really exciting.